Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to episode 18 of our Mallion Let's Play. We continue from turn 58. And our big objective this time is to wipe out Kairos. He's invading us, he ransacked our settlement here in Nandi'i. We're gonna fix it. The good thing is we kept the third building as our sort of randomized building, so the Inyan's not broken, we stay in harmony, that is very key. And something you should definitely consider doing in your settlements by keeping the Inyan building in the first two slots and then whatever you want to build next in the third. That way when they do get sacked like this, you don't suddenly have an Inyan uh, disharmony situation. Uh, our army is perfectly within reach of their marching army so they cannot get away from us. We can farm Kairos' uh, trait for defeating a legendary lord onto Melian herself, which is very nice. Our secondary army might not be needed because... Uh, he can't reach this other army here, so there's no benefit of us marching out. And we could perhaps take care of this rebel force, which is weirdly no a caravan. Slip. So it's actually been great because we don't have to deal with them up until this point. I assume most of these are probably going to be peasant horsemen. Um, it's basically all peasant units. I, I think we'll do fairly decent against them, obeyed. especially since we'll have celestial intervention and ancestral worry on top of that as well. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And then beyond that, it's all about how we handle our brother. Well, first of all, let me rotate this map. I'm going to use this little corner like a jigsaw puzzle and just tilt ourselves this way. Um, that way we have technically the north pointing up. Um, aside, yeah, aside from those, I think we're fine. We're going to be trying to expand down to our brother's territory. There's a couple ways we can do this, actually. Do not believe so the, the first thing we want to do is he has one I army left, so he's rather weak right honorable. now. And we can try to ask him for the price. Is it, there's no money that we can offer him. Really now. Not even for half of our... Let's just see how close it is. Eight points. So pretty far. What if we go pretty extreme? I offer him everything I have. We're about halfway there. Okay, so I need to give him some sort of land offering as well. Um... Interesting. I think one solution we could potentially have in the future is as we expand over here, which we will, we'll take on this green skin faction, which seems to have a lot of land here. But the key is, you see Zinch rebels, we need to gain control of this path, not only for our caravans, which goes through this area, but also for the purpose of stopping Kairos from teleporting over these mountain ranges. Because he's technically just going here and teleporting over. Because he basically takes the distance that he can travel and ignore any obstacles as he teleports his armies. He needs to use Winds of Magic, but that's not technically a big ask. Uh, so we got to take control of this. And I'm interested in breaking through the entire uh, mountains of Morn here and get into the plain of Zar, which is finally where we get some suitable climate. So we want to settle over here. We want to wipe out Goto. It's the long-term plan now that the north is mostly one. Um, there is still a bit of concern with these Chaos Worry, the Kha'Zix, and uh, Drugadal needs to handle that for us. The so I think he'll be doing fine. Ready. We picked up two Grand Cannons, so he's definitely a lot stronger. We're going to go out and encamp ourselves because we cannot siege him this turn. And we need to encamp ourselves to make sure we don't take attrition. So that's what we're going to do. It's rather ambitious because this is not technically a super strong army, but we'll see what we can do as we look to expand. They're still recruiting. We can't do much about that. I have a bunch of enemy hero problems. But we also need to spread out our um, heroes because... The gates are going to open soon, the portals, so we're going to spread them out to, especially level 1, she's not going to assassinate anyone, so we're going to move them towards there, she's level 6, she's level 2, so level 2 goes down south, level 6, move out, go hunt down the one outside, I think I can take care of this one, I cannot bend nature, ruin will fall upon them. That's old news. That's old news. Okay, that's good. We killed him or wounded him. He'll come back. He'll come back from wherever his settlement is. So I'm going to move down this way. I have another one over here, I believe. Where is he? He can take out a, a cultist in this army. Nope, or he can fail. 
And I think we can get the battle started. There's no need to wait here. Of the dragon. Mao Ying versus Kairos. I don't need to allow the garrison don't even have to come actually. But I definitely don't want to. I mean, it wouldn't really matter. They basically won't come on the field until we lose units. So basically, I'm just saying don't come. Um, if the enemy have multiple armies, then it's better if we just take our best force against them. But in this case, it doesn't really matter. It's definitely not close victory. We're going to crush them. Pretty straightforward map. Let's go. Go get us our trait. I know there's a big compilation of list of legendary hero traits online, but um, I don't recall what the exact trait we get from Kairos. Um, I think it has something to do with Zinch, and I bet it has something to do with spells as well. So we welcome it regardless. We are on the low ground. How can I delay you guys? Just go, go there. Wait, why can't you go there? Oh, that's a mountain. What about here? No? Five minutes. We should be done with the battle in five minutes. I am going to go on the high ground over here. I can even put the... I can put the sky junk way up. But the thing is, uh, they actually have flyers, so they can actually come to us. We took out all the furies, so all the cheap flyers are done. Ooh, the forest. We could use this because uh, they have a lot of range as well. Huh? How did I miss that? There we go. And to prevent any flanking... Machal, you be in the front. And we can put this guy... All the, all the way up here. I'm pretty sure we can put him even higher. I don't know where the, the line technically... Maybe that's the edge of the line. But that's still pretty decent. We'll have a pretty nice vantage point of the enemy. We will still get bombarded like crazy here, I'm sure. But it's fine. I'm gonna start with this guy. We're gonna have a little fun from way high up. And just start going. I actually don't know how high I should aim because the elevation difference makes up for a lot of distance. Yeah, we still overshot it. Oh, streamers. I think we got some streamers there. We can go a little bit lower. Yeah, we got the Screamer's Barrier, as you can see. And they're shifting left. Perfect. That soul grinder looks very nice up close in person. Alright, Kairos is moving close, so what we're gonna do is dragon, and then we're gonna go hunter. Uh, but we'll let them shoot at themselves for a little bit. Here come some spells. Hopefully the forest will protect us. Nope, nope. That crossbow got owned. I'm gonna summon some to stop that soul grinder. And I'm actually gonna summon this now. I feel like we never get a chance to use it. Maybe we can stall them around. Kyro's gonna go down pretty easily. Concentrated fire is what they're weak against. Friendly fire, my friend. Friendly fire. There's buddies down there. We should see a big rock coming down very soon. Or did it already hit and we missed it? I think we already, it already hit. I see a big blob right there. Arrows is not dead. No, you can go do your thing. Screamers go... Oh, well. The friendly fire... Are getting spell bombed again. Look how damaging that is, even with the forest. Alright, we killed him. 
All right, what's another key target we can go after? Soul Grinder. We'll solo that. I'll take control of this again. I think the bottom area is fine. You don't have to worry too much about it. We'll soften up some of these targets here. Crossbowmen should recover. Plus, we're trying to upgrade them into the Celestial Dragon the Crossbowmen, so it's fine. They lose some health. Oh, overdid it there. Rather overshoot than undershoot in case we kill our own guys. That was a good shot. Let's go slightly higher, get the pinks. Someone kill those flamers. They're dying, but not dying fast enough. I think the flamers are almost done. Start activating. You're, you're doing fine, Guan Yu. John Faco, help. We're dueling out the Soul Grinder, no problem. Do a spell here. Soul Grinder's gonna burn up themselves, and we can just leave this area, let that ravage them. Oh, we actually win too fast here. Let the knights run off the field. You stop firing. You did your job. All crossbow units stop. Let them run away. Where's our other... Everyone's pretty full. I mean, these units will, whatever full entity they have, they will recover next turn when we exit battle. So we don't need to heal them. Let's heal this mess a little bit. Mainly Melly herself had to duel Kairos plus the Soul Grinder. Mainly the Soul Grinder probably did the damage. That's it. Good fight. Yeah, the forest didn't help too much against the spells, but it probably would have been worse on the open field. Because they also have missile damage as well. Yeah, but the thing about demon armies, demonic units just will always die in a losing fight. Unbreakable, essentially. Twenty percent on the ability, but only temporary, so not that great. We'll take... I'll take the 1%. There's still another army nearby. There we go. 15% spell resistance when fighting against Xinqian factions for the entire army. So this is quite decent, especially consider we do have to fight Xinch quite a lot. Let's see what we can upgrade here. Um, Arcane Conduit for the army. Thank you very much. And Malian here. We got all the points in Shore Aim. I think we're working towards Rally. And I was thinking getting the six points of melee attack, melee defense for the Celestial Dragon Guard that we will have. Or... I don't think we're running any of those units. Terracotta for the extra 12% damage. I don't think that's that necessary. 12% missile strength. I also don't think that's necessary. So I think Unyielding is the way we go. They're the unit that probably needs the most help. And we're going to give it to them. A tool fit for the dragon's daughter. Um, we can sit inside. I require a war room. The only thing that might be annoying is if they dare to siege us. Leave me to my Instead of like just fight us, but just siege us. Anyways, we have another fight here. Valent defeat. <laughs> it's okay, we'll, we'll turn this around. Yeah, pretty straightforward fight. Yeah, they all rank three, I think. No, rank... Silver one, rank four, rank four. Not too scary. We can definitely win this. And we're not auto resolving. What's the map like? Ah, three different chokes. Okay. All right, let's just go. We have a better quality front line. These only have about 90 range. Yeah, that's true. 
So not too scared of that. We outrange them with our crossbow on both these and these. And they have almost no armor on any of their melee units, so... And they're choosing to come through two separate gaps. We'll ignore that gap entirely. We'll focus everything here. They have range, so we're going to keep the shield units in the front. And their job is going to be to protect the flanks from the cavalry, and then just shoring up the, re the, the back front as well. Reserves, I guess. Was that a berry terracotta? How did they die in the first place? All right, you in the front, because you actually can tank up some shots. They have shields. It's going to be a little bit closer. Praise the dragons. Is that decoration piece actually blocking us? Jade warriors. I think it is. Praise the dragons. Okay, and I will sit here for now. I wonder what spell she actually has. Storm of Shadow for the slow. Is it the upgraded range version or single in unit? Oh, it's a regular one, so okay, so single unit. Lore of in hiding. I can give one range unit snipe stock. Well, any unit I want uh, snipe stock and unspottable, but um, technically you want a range unit. Ian is still mainly focused on range units. The eight we, we, we don't like we her build up, so it, we're probably not gonna you know keep her, but it's still interesting. Yeah, they're all piling in together. I'm sure we can give a really nice meteor on them. All right, we're about to fire. Yeah, those are the range units. We'll halt them with our summons. And then as they clump up together, we'll try to take them. Hey, they take way too much damage. All right, stop those right there. Start counting down. Where's their most expensive units? All I see is peasant infantry. Did they, did they all put the expensive unit on that side? Regardless, I'll bomb that. These are these all look like peasant lost spearmen. Oh, there's a couple right there. They're shooting. Probably should have bombed that then. Can't keep them there, but the splash should still get them. Oh, even the splash! My gosh. Yeah, I gotta kill these. They're getting shot by the frontline guys. Oh, we, they're in range. We'll shred them. Cavalry bump into us. No damage. No worries. Peasant Archer, Peasant Longbowman, Peasant Archer, Peasant... We're gonna hold the defensive position. Once we wipe out the front, we'll turn all the range that way. Okay, we're shredding them, no worries. I might move them over here for the Eon bonus on these units. Yeah, let them waste their time and shots on our summon unit. Perfect. You can see they're getting shredded. Especially this one right here is almost done. They broke. Now shoot them. There we go, there we go. And there's no way they can walk up to us in time. Alright, I think enough of them. Okay, we got some interesting situation here. Where we want to change some of the duties. Move them back a little. They have no shield. Stretch out really, really far here. Attack in unison. Never conquered. Harmonious rock. Ready to rule. Yeah, we're fine. Wind and fire. Bringing harmony. 
We want to open up some flanking angles. Seeking Cathay's foes. Warriors! Seeking Cathay's foes! Wind and fire! Immediately! Understood! Day warriors! Minds as one! Warrior crossbows! We obey! Warriors! They will perish! Never conquer! Defend the realm! Fire in the blood! Restore order! Repositioning! Thoughts in harmony! Thoughts in harmony! Defenders All right, we can engage game. everyone now. We're fine. By ancestors. Praise the dragons. They will perish. All right, actually turn around, get the flank. Order and balance. Kill their lord. Shoot the one over here who's still firing. Shoot that one. Shred them as they run. Press out. I think army loss is kicking in. Even their lord is dropping. There we go. Alright, there goes that force. Yeah, I like the casualty ratios there. I'll take money actually because I can sit pretty happily inside here I don't care much about her skill tree but um, since we're gonna keep her for now we will level it up just so we don't get prompted we'll make sure to remove her items before we ask her to die in the future all right so that's all good buildings Ooh, we can upgrade stuff on the outside it takes forever but We'll do it. It's nice to see we have growth. Spice market all the way. Wei Jin's almost, you know, three turns away from upgrading the final building, the capital building to the final tier. Get that landmark going. And that seems to be all the building we can do. Outpost wise, I don't care about this, but I do care about alliance points. If I can get to 72 and borrow their army, I can suicide their army and thus uh, weaken them diplomatically for yes. deals in the future. Fire and it's 25. I mean, it depends, right? If he starts sacking more settlements to the gold tooth and lose more armies, it would be easier for us. Did the rebel force just like die off in one battle? Well, that's lovely. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, and we can come help Malian over here. We're probably gonna fight here. I don't know how much AI tunnel vision is gonna happen with Goldtooth's army. Like he's at war with both of us, but will he just move through my brother's land to attack me? Or he actually takes some settlements? So I'm a little bit concerned there. Aside from that, I think we're good. We have the peasant group moving right now. Oh, technologies. I don't think this is right. 130%. My rationale behind the incorrectness there is that I have him. Not him. Who has it? Someone has the item. Who did I give the item to? Prove it out, maybe? Wait. There we go. She has 20% right here. Right? And... I actually think someone else has another item. Miao Ying. Yeah, there's another 10%. So, so you would think that's 130, right? And you'd be like, that's correct. But what about my buildings? What about my buildings? 8% here. Another 6. Another 6. See, that's 20%. That's 20%. Where's that 20%? Where's my 150%? Because 130 is so awkward. Because 134 will make 4 turn 1s into 3 turn. Right now I'm not getting that benefit. 
And that's, you know, we're, we, we didn't steal in a while, so I understand the stealing one's gone, but like... There's a missing 20%. I don't know if it's 20% from the buildings missing, or I, I suspect it's the item. Like, this 10% looks active, because the number total is 30%. So I know I have 10% somewhere, unless... Unless what what happened is that I got hit with this guy's ability, right? So what happens? I lose twenty percent. Okay, maybe that's what's going on it's because he hit me with a lose twenty percent. So I'm actually dropping down. Then he'll be super annoying when you kill him fast because I hate that, making us inefficient here. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that's what's going on. All right, trigger down's on his way. We kill the enemy hero here. We have another lady swing going out to kill him. And then Drugan is about to launch his war. We're building our buildings. Most buildings are healthy. I'm spreading out my heroes. I might recruit a couple of new heroes in the coming turns as we prepare for the next round of rifts. But overall, things look decent enough. Yeah, I think we're fine. Let's continue. That army's on the run. He's running the same direction that we want to go, so that's good. Oh, also want to know the price. Hmm. Our peasant ban. Okay, I mean, we have to fight it. No, no we're getting ambushed, so it's, it's going to be bad. We're ready to sacrifice them, right? We're, we knew this was going to be a rough journey with Kairos' force in the area. I just wasn't expecting to get hit with ogre kingdoms. Grout halfling truers. Truer. I guess we're halflings to him, because we're short. Fight for the pride! For you are the guardians of order! The defenders of harmony! Less speeching and more fighting. We got big guys charging us very soon with ogre charge. It's not going to be fun. Dude, you sound scared. Jade warriors. Ah. Wind and fire. Wind and fire. Is that a catapult? They have a scrap launcher. That's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, it hurt. It already hurt. Uh, uh, can we reorganize our range line? Oh my God, ogre charge hurt. Ogre charge hurt. I don't care what it takes. Gotta go grab that scrap. Nobbler's behind. I don't know. Oh, I can spare you. You go here. Archers can't get out. Uh, go, go, go. Don't let them scrap hit us. Go, go, go. Alright, you go help kill man eaters. Okay, we got a couple archers ready routing. It's okay. Once they route, they actually might bounce back. All right, he broke out. He broke out. No, don't run that way. Run this way. We need to do a flank. All right, we can kill the scrap launcher at least. Fight, 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 fight. Praise the dragons. Order and balance. Throw yourself back in there. Wait, they have another scrap. Oh my God! Lead belchers. Summon. Alright, this part is winning. Fire at uh, the yes. trappers. The personification of law. Kill the lead belchers. Bounce back. Fight with us. Be closer to the be closer to them. Be closer to them first. Inyon bonus first. Alright, got another group bouncing back. Got another group bouncing back. Thank you guys. Regroup. The group right here. All right, he's gone. Go help the big ones. All right, stop their shooting. Chase him down. Hold, hold, hold. Fire here. Actually, fire here. Fire here. Getting debuffed here. Nail them. Come on, you can do it. All 
Not gonna move to this flank. It was a little safer. I know they got beat by the, their tyrant. We have not wiped out the lead belchers. Not good. Got another ogre charge from the flank. We're gonna lose this, pretty sure, but um, yeah, they just timed out as well. But we definitely want to make it a little bit harder on them. If we can. Shoot over there. Shoot over there. You guys bounce back. Try to take on the bulls. You guys can do it. Take down the man eater. I mean, certainly it's not efficient being clumped, but at least we're not getting ogre charged because we have good mass here. They might bounce back. 22, 24 leadership, you won't bounce back? It'd be nice if you bounce back right now. Where's the lead belcher? Alright, we're done. We're done. Army loss going to kick in right now. They can combine a little and get themselves some Eon bonus, which would give them some... Ah, they routed. Gives them some more leadership, basically. Let Belchers. They're done. Just waiting for them to finish off. Yeah, it's gonna be over with the Maiders. Oh, look at that. That's it. Who's, who's, oh, we got one bouncing back. One. Now you bounce back. Could have bounced back earlier. Alright, gonna group them together. Thoughts in harmony. Look at that cannon shot shredding us. Sound the retreat. Peasant archers. Commander of cities. Um, fire at these guys. The realm. The Ooh. Me. My Belcher is hitting us. Of we can't beat him. Archers. That's the thing. This is it for us. There we go. I'm not sure if we actually get wiped because we still have some units left, but uh, this is an army on the field, I feel like. It's not an event battle. So uh, they'll probably pick on us next turn as well. We need to clean out that western area so our caravans can actually go again because it's uh it's looking pretty bad shutting out our wealth path yeah they're still around they're still going oh no they're dead whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i thought they i thought they survived that but i guess maybe caravans just wiped after one hit they died here All right that's the army we lost to it's just not safe walking through this area right now. We need to go wipe them out. Alright, speaking of wiping them out, this group... We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to actually block army. 
Why did we go over there? Okay, that actually worked. Good job. Uh, Mel, you will be the force going west for now. Not so keen on... Once the portal come... Uh, it's going to be weird. I mean, there's going to be portal in foreign land as well, so we could probably take one of those. Um... My brother is rebuilding his armies. So there's one here. There's one here. There's the Vancy enemy. How you port blocks all road access, so he has to lose it for them to go towards me. This army's job is to defend for us. Anti-large will be very good. They lack they lack a little bit of firepower, so. Honor your we don't have access to fire ring yet, but we might not have time to wait for that because even this is two turns. I'm gonna global I one. Plus, I don't want to delete any units. Nani can recover. We have overflow of population. We're one turn away from this, having enough to upgrade. Two turn away for this. We would love to get the other two pieces, especially Shangyang. That's pretty much it. We're about to get this upgraded, which is a godsend. And then we'll see how we time out the, the technologies. We'll see if it goes back to 150. That's what I'm most curious. All right, so that's good. They are still recruiting. One turn away until we can move them. No. They moved out. They're encamped and still recruiting. The Lord what did they do to me? Did, did they steal my movement? Yeah, they did. Did, did it succeed? I don't think so. I have full movement. We hit the settlement, right? We isolate them, we garrison inside, and then even if they recruit, they can't recruit it once I take it, unless they're doing global, because they'll lose local. It's gotta be the logic here. Okay, another warband faction up north. Chaos trolls. Well, the idea is we have long range capability, we bombard them like crazy. And uh, we don't take any points in the beginning, and then we rush the point after they're weak enough. And that's how we take care of them. Hey, the layout looks like a Cathay city. Maybe it is a Cathay. It looks like a Cathay city, actually. Let's go. But the climate's terrible, so the rebuild process is going to be terrible. We might have an Inyan imbalance after this, depending on how the buildings convert. But we can also recruit heroes. Not a big problem. It looks like the map with a narrow hallway. Um, I think we fought this at... Um, Either Nanli or the Mai of Nanyang. Like the central hallway is like below ground, climbing up to the center. That's what it looks like, please. I mean, I doubt every city got their unique map, so I'm, I'm guessing there's gotta be repeats. Battle of Fortress of Eyes. Mm, yeah, it looks like the first battle we did. Not the big hallway one, but the one that spirals up here. We definitely fought this map. Uh, but the surrounding looks a little bit different. I'm surprised of how Cathay this looked. Is that just a water reserve? Looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, how do we approach this? Well, let's see. Roadblock. Where's their tower placement? Right, that's roadblock. Right here, that's a tower placement, isn't it? No, this one doesn't build any towers. That's a roadblock. That's a roadblock. That's definitely a roadblock. Ah, there's gonna be a tower here. And that's it, and the other two are roadblocks. This side doesn't look that hard, actually. All right, we're gonna test out our Grand Canyon, see how they do. We're gonna focus fire here. Grand Cannon. Hmm. Is any? 
I don't know. I don't know how the elevation lift works here. Okay, I feel like we can put infantry in front of them without any problems. Someone to give them, you know, Inyan bonus. I can put it behind, but then we wouldn't be protecting them. Order and balance. If we can bait them to come out to fight us, that would be lovely. Not sure if we can get that to happen though. Never conquered. Warriors. I think there's also insert firing mode for these. Yep. But I don't know if we control one or control four. Feels like we're only controlling one. Yeah, cycle entities, page up, page down. It's a lot less fun than the uh, than the sky drop, in my opinion. But it's always nice to get a first person view of uh, artillery weapons. Yeah, the, the angle is just way different. You can't really rain down fire on enemies. It's from the sky is just way different. So you like you miss those shots because elevation difference. That tower is coming up. I'm pretty sure we can kill the tower with the artillery. All right, while we're firing, I think we just move up. You guys are gonna be the salt team. Take the point. The sound is great though. It's very satisfying to hear that sound, even though we're not doing really much damage. One. Seems to be one range. The armor trolls here. The range unit is just the marauder, I believe. The hunters. Horse a horseman, even less scary. We can summon these on them and do as much damage as we can to them. We can Never shoot that. Without hesitation. If we can, then then that's perfect. Oh yes, we can. Okay, we'll just take that out then. That's what artillery will be used for. We're gonna occupy the trolls. Then we're gonna use our crossbow advantage and range advantages to kill all their units. Yeah, we're gonna take that down. No problem. We're gonna fight the trolls. Start moving up. Move as wind. Crossbowman. March in ordered ranks. The celestial faithful. Seeking Cathay's foes. Seeking Cathay's foes. Thoughts in harmony. Restore order. Celestial Fury! You guys mind to wait? Naturally! Chukuda has the wind magic! I run over them! Be brave! Rain shred them! No one's on this side. Rebuild takes time. Okay. I'm gonna get one unit to guard this side. Wait, how did I select three? There we go. You just cover this side. Go, go, go. Go. Uh, I can't find a better angle for them, to be honest. Like, they probably just 
going to be helping us take down the tower when it comes back online. It's technically not back online yet, but I think we can pound it right now. Yeah, we're going to pound it before it comes back online. Just block whoever might want to come out of here. Buy us time. We're going to mainly focus on this side. Power down? No, not yet. Take it down. Fire! They will perish! Warriors! Naturally! At once! Wind and fire! I move these two up. We don't need everyone else to babysit. Uh, might be too much friendly fire. Let's just take this small trunk. Uh, that's fine. We got a lot of armor. The trolls seem speeding back. Fire the trolls. Oh, they're shatter ready. At least it eliminates any friendly fire. Alright, one unit left. Even they're gonna surrender soon, and that should do it. Oh, the, oh, there's a couple units on that side. Never mind, they're not gonna surrender soon. They'll take the point. There's a couple guys on that side. I am prepared. I we'll shoot them out. Is he still going for the rebuild? Can't tell. Now oh, there's an enemy tower. We'll take some damage. It's fine. We got shield. They're just all pulling back. Hmm. A bit annoyed. We'll let them form up first, no rush. Our champs. Okay. Peasant archers. Marching as one. Go to them. Sent by dragons. Spears. Bringing harmony. Thoughts in harmony. I mean, this isn't going to make a difference. Like, our sight here is not that great. We have stopped trying to build that. Alright, we shot whoever might have blocked us here. We need to advance to the next point. Technically, we just go for here. We can ignore everything else. Like, they don't really matter. But if we kill them, I think it's over. I don't, think, I don't know if there's a unit over there or not. But if there's only one unit left, it's over. There we go. Just gonna kill this. Maybe they're the last guy. Go kill them. Too many archers, but you guys are giving Eon bonus. They are not large, but you guys can go for the fight. Really should leave this to the range units. Okay, okay, let's not let's not add add more bodies there. I can pull them back; it'd be better, but I can't. They're all shifting. Hmm. I mean, we're moving these guys up, but you can see the potential friendly fire situation here. Ah, they finally routed. That makes it so much easier for us. Alright, Drugon's army did it. We got the settlement. Didn't take that much loss, just the front line. Yeah, the Spiring Champ, they just eventually army lost it, which is great. These two didn't fight to the end.
What level is it? Oh, it's not causing any harm, any problems. We got another Fufan mark, which is actually the the Fufan. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna get rebellions every other turn. <laughs> it's balanced with, uh, I wouldn't say decent buildings, but um, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna convert you to the construction cost and convert you to the replenishment rate, and they will finish at the same time, and they wouldn't affect anything. Cafe at top. Um This definitely doesn't help us that much. Ammo plus missile strength for the grand cannons. I think this might be something we're looking to do. The army will obviously take different shapes and change, but I think we will give them more of a fire and rocket grand cannon type of setup. I mean, this is not bad. If we get this. I, I'm really not such a big fan of Lightning Strike. But we could get upkeep discounts. Like 15%. It's decent. Fast Hand's also good. I'm not making him stronger. He's not going to be offensive at all. I'm going to put him in a Sky Lantern. So this is a wasted line for me. Um... Oh, he's a reduced corruption. I need this. I need a lot of that. A worthy addition to my arsenal. Still plus one. Speed and unity. Win. Change one of these. Um, we don't need that. We're gonna get one of those Fu Huang monks, and that's gonna turn this to negative. Charles. Negative one, sure, but it's negative. We don't need to collect income here. <laughs> it's not going to stop anything. Uh, conquest will be minus 10 will be gone next turn. Corruption, this should be gone soon, right? This is a huge decrease on this. So that Zinch minus 10 should be gone soon as well. The provincial instability should be gone soon as well. So we, we can actually turn this positive. So there's hope for that. Commander of the Great City. He needs to die. Lady Sun? Alchemist of Shangyang. It shall be a Perfect. Start. Our violent Lady Sun. You left of wit. I mean, we could also change her name. Lady Sun's Alchemist kind of... Ready. We can go with the Dynasty Warrior version. Fight these. Landmark for who? Corn. Eh, there's resource. Carved obsidian. And then we'll be also bordering Kairos' capital. <laughs> if Drugadan can wipe that out, that would be something. Anyways, on well, sign skill point on who? Astromancer. Oh, he's the one on the field. He's the one that's going to stay on the field. I feel like spreading control will be a thing. He can also get a Wuxing War Compass as a ride, but that's if he gets into army. I mean, we're kind of invested in everything. Uh, I wouldn't put him in Melian's army, actually, so... Right now, Wound is probably more useful. He's, that's kind of what he's doing. Me to my I, I halted the movement so I can catch him next turn. Running wind. Most of them actually do need to move. So her job is to cover Weijing, city of Shu Genshin, and Kunlan. So I'm going to put her like right here. Portals, right? We're, we're doing portal controls. Her job... 
Jade Wind Village. So basically somewhere right here. Spreading secret wisdom. I need someone over here. You. Calm down. Nobody's over here either. Oh, we have someone over here. Alright, you stand in the middle here. This region. We're st I still feel a little thin. Maybe we recruit two more? Ooh. Well, that's actually really good. Because they naturally increase by like 25%. This would be 30% increase. Okay, I'll pick her up. Alchemist of and then go to Singpo because we get the free rank up. And we're going to get the free leadership over here. And just balance them out. Um, because he has the leadership bonus, he actually might end up in the army. Therefore... Okay. Still our brother. Any missions? There we go. That's what I want to see. Yes, I want to hunt him down. That's perfect. I can accept multiple? <gasps> did, I, did I just delete that one? I think I had a mission like that. Did I just remove it? Is that what I did? Well, this one's easy too. Drugodon can kill that. Yeah, it's weird. How did I... How, I didn't know you could delete missions, but it seems it's like that's what I did. Yes, two empire. armies I could borrow. It shall please Cost way too much, but we're trying to get more points. I hope he loses capital. That would be funny. But then the capital will go to Shangyang, and I can't trade for it. So he still has this mission reward. I mean, I'm just hoping he doesn't lose his city. Wait, three. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. I can pay for that, I think. Uh, a little bit too much. Not worth it. No war that I can join. Who calls? Oh mine. I it's going back pray. up. Cause he he got a little stronger. Temporarily. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Sending people to their death. Um I have the more experience back. But even this one, I'm a little concerned about sending them out. You can see all the path out of here, super high threats. I need to take control of... Um, I need to go into the mountains, don't I? So I, I might still be sending someone to their death. Maybe even a new one. <laughs> Another humble born. Um, this is a better army for sure. They gain experience per turn. All right, good luck to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the full amount. I, I trust you. Oh, I and to rank him up first. I'm gonna give him best chance to survive, and we'll see what happens. entire road is dangerous red yellow yellow red green yeah eh. it's just the early parts just bad this might not be that bad actually too red definitely nothing on this side this side is terrible because this gold tooth is territory hmm Yeah, we'll gamble this. Good luck. We wish you the best. Where did she go? Okay, both of them are in the right place. Good job. 
tech in two turns. That shouldn't disrupt anything. I don't think I'm building anything weird. Yeah, I'm not building anything weird. Okay, let's just continue then. That would help. More control. Ah, uh, see, we <laughs> we got the percentage back because the twenty percent reverted itself. I think it's past the three turns. So I'm thinking I'm one fifty right now, and I got it done in one turn. Uh, I don't mind recruiting another hero. It's not the problem. It's just yeah, that's the steal is definitely what happened. That's what caused the issue. Um, at least we know what's going on. I mainly want these two. Less time step. Oh, plus five melee attack. I want that one. I'll start up here then. The Celestial Empire we'll ever improves. Probably just end our episode here, actually. We'll come back and balance it. I gotta reselect that, I know, but it's fine. This army I'm not scared of. They finally rec finish recruiting. They can move on, recruit different units. There is that one unit up here, which I think is still up here. Just gotta maybe scout it out with this. This hero here will be in charge of closing down portals in this area. Drugodown will still hold on here. He probably have to sit here for a few turns just to get both of these numbers down. Why did it go up? Hmm, we'll figure something out. We'll spread out these heroes out a little. He is not on march. I don't know where he could run though. I feel like I can go chase that down. I could also just take this and worry about him a little bit later. I do not think so. Our brother lost land. Tiang Tiang is lost. Yep. What's his attitude? That means he lost the army too, right? So long uh, as they do not confederate? confederate? Mine. Wait, it's not an option here? Oh, here. 20 points. It went down. And we're also going to hit about 236. It's going to get there. Tyrant. Maybe so he'll give me some land for us, actually. <laughs> now that he's weak. Well, someone's mad. How, how much? I really want Shion. Discussion. He's not putting a price to it. What if I pay everything? Money can come and go, you know? We can just just max 10.9. Mm. Yeah, it's not enough. It's not enough. Well, I predict he's going to lose how you port very soon. He's going to put the safety of my southern holdings into question two. This army might need to shift down. Do we start the war with them right now? Or do we take care of Goldtooth first? All we need to do is chase them out, take one of their holdings, and sit an army here. And they can't come in anymore. That's the trick. And then we can turn up here. But then the portal's about to start too. It's all about timing. I think we'll be fine though. Um, I mean, if we can take care of the red waste, we can take care of the, the mountain of Morn. So we'll come back and do that next time. Hopefully we'll get our brother soon. It's nice seeing that he gets beat down a little bit. He has just one army left. Uh, if he lose that and lose some more land, I think we can get him. Maybe our job should be buying up smaller pieces of his land. Uh, maybe we try to buy these two small counties. And that way, once we can retake this, we have a full province, which is the key. And that way he slowly becomes weaker and weaker and we can just basically get everything from him then. So maybe that's an option. We'll see. We'll balance out our options next time. So until then, bye!